Hello, I'm Robert, and this time I'm going to show you how the parts work in Bounce Metronome, and also a little bit about how the instruments work. So the first thing to notice is that you that you have these two colours of bouncing ball, the red and the blue, if you're, if you're just in the 4-4, four, four, and if we set it playing, then the, so you can see that the, the tempo dial, the tempo dial is in blue at the moment, and this means it shows the tempo for the blue bouncing balls, and that's going at 120 beats per minute. And if, if I hide the bar beat ball, then that's what it's showing the tempo for. Now, suppose instead that I, sh I have only the measure beat ball and I hide that one, then you, uh, so that's like that. And that's obviously a much slower tempo and that is the measure beat tempo. So in, uh, in order to see that, we need to show the tempo for the second part. So if I click there, it's left click to show the next part. So that is now showing part two, uh, the measure beat or bar beat, and this is showing the tempo, which is 30 for that one, much slower tempo. And so now if I put that back in again, then it still shows, so if I set that to the first, and when you edit a part, if I go there, if when you edit a part, then it, it automatically selects it up there. So you might find yourself swapping between the different parts just because you've done some editing down there. So if you want to change, you just go up here, and it's left click to go to the next one or uh, around in a cycle. So that's part one. Click again, it goes to part two. And notice how it also, the highlight is moving here. So this window shows each of the parts, and it shows that you've got part two. That's got one measure beat, and it's playing the high bongo. Part one has got four beats, and it's playing the low conga. So that's how the parts work. And you can hear, see down here, you see the tempo of both parts simultaneously, the quarter notes, or crotchets equals 120, crotchets is UK, or the whole notes are equal, are equal to 30. Now, you might want to always show, uh, so sometimes it's pretty handy to be able to see the tempo for all the different parts, but sometimes you want to show always the same tempo, no matter how you edit it. So if you want to do that, go up here, so I clicked, on the note icon there, you can also get to it from tempo and go to tempo dial options and you'll get to this window. And now if you click always show tempo for and then you choose what you want to show it for, which in this case is for eighth notes, so I've got it set to UK notation so it says crotchets, then that means it will always show the tempo for the eighth notes. So the tempo dial is now showing 120 and it says eighth note equals 120, and quarter note as next bit of information equals 30. If I unselect that, then it will go back to the situation before, where it shows the, uh, the tempo for the currently highlighted part. That's the highlight, that yellow highlight, and it's the red part, so it's red in the tempo dial, and it shows the part number up there, part two, in the parts window here, it shows that it's part two. So that's how the parts work. So now the next thing is, how do you set the instrument for the part? Well, it's easiest to do it from here. So we've got it set at the moment to low conga and high bongo. Say we want to change that. Then you choose set percussion for part two. And this brings up this window. Now you can just go through and choose well, the, it's mainly these ones that you're going to be using, and that you probably not want to do chords and things. So you go up there and you just choose, for instance, uh, crash cymbal, that's to a hi-hat. 
this time. So that's false. Uh, I've set got it set to. I'll explain that later. No, we want the whole the whole instrument. Let's 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 do a kick drum, okay? So, so now it's set to kick drum, and so, and now you play it. And you should hear that. You can hear the kick drum, but it's not very easy to hear it. Maybe it's sort of merged with the low conga. So now sometimes you want to play the notes instruments together. So the very first instrument here is the two of them together. You've got the low conga on all four beats and the kick drum just on the very first beat. Okay. Now, if you want to hear them, as you can also have skip coincident coincident notes, and now. It will skip the low conga whenever the, the measure beat is playing. So that can be quite useful sometimes. So uh, you can also set the instruments individually for each beat. So if I, I'm not bothered about that now, let's go back here. Now, one the easy way to do it is to right click on the beat. I, I'd like to say at this point, if you're going to use Bounce Metronome a lot on the Mac, I'm demonstrating it on the Mac, but it's very much the same on Windows. If you use it a lot on the Mac, I do recommend that you get a, a Windows style mouse with a left and right button and a middle button and a scroll wheel, because it is designed for Windows originally. So it makes extensive use of the left, right and middle buttons and you don't have to do that you can do everything with just left click indeed you can do everything without the mouse at all because it's designed to be usable by blind users uh, or, or anyone who can't use a mouse but I do recommend that if you are able to see the screen and use a mouse I do recommend that you get yourself a, a, a Windows mouse because it'll just make some of the things much easier so for instance you can now right click on any of those instruments and you can choose now I've got it now I've, I've set it to the melodic part of bounce metronome so we can do nice some melodic sounds just fun. notice how you hear the notes as you move the mouse over it so start with the tubular bells just for fun for the first one and then the second one to glockenspiel it's Lester and then we've got Hello Conga and so on. So now if I play that. And let's set the last one to something as well, just for fun. So if you want to go to percussion, that's there. And set that to, I don't know. Yes, it, I, I was thinking about setting it to... Uh, oh, I want to set it to ride, ride Bell. Yeah, don't need to do what I was thinking of. So that's how you can do that. And then if you want to, in this window, you can also do it up here in this window, the percussion window. So if you switch that off then and select an instrument, it'll change it for the entire measure. If you switch that on, then you can change it for an individual instrument. So if you want to change the wide bell, that the very last one, change that to something else, I don't know. It's a map thing sometimes. But it the menu the drop menu disappears for the time you bring it up the side stick. Okay, let's try that. Let's see what that sounds like. And you've got the side stick to play last beat. So that's that's that. And now you can actually play if you if you want to have several instruments at once, switch that on. Let us, and you get a warning about it because you don't normally want to do that. And then you can see I have two instruments played at once. So along with that side stick, then we can play something else. Um, let's say, uh, I don't know, something a little bit sustained. Let's do a bell tree along with it. Okay, and then set it going. You should hear a side stick and a bell tree played together. You can add more. You can you know add a 
Um, I'm kind of not against this spell, but I thought, let's see. It's a kind of uh, scraper thing. So that's quite fun. And that's beyond that last one as well. So uh, that's, that's just kind of fun. You, you could do that as well. And so then now, suppose we want to go back to just having a single instrument for all the beats. Unselect un that and then choose whatever you want it to be. Um, from the high conga. And there it's now set to that. With the um, kick drum for accompanying the very first beat. So, so that's how the instruments work. That's the tempo dial. I think that was all I wanted to explain just now. I can come up with loads more of these videos. If you've got any questions at all, just let me know what you want me to explain and then I'll talk about it. I actually did this video in response to an email. Someone asked me, you know, how, do, how does this all work? So let's stop it now.